Hey y'all, hope you're doing great. What we're looking at in this video is Chainlink and Grayscale Chainlink Trust, uh, which is the stock market security, uh, the trust that gives uh, Wall Street traders exposure to Chainlink if they don't want to buy Chainlink directly as a crypto asset and hold their own keys. That being said, I have one special note to make here, uh, or observation, and then as we make this observation, um, man, I think this is super bullish for Chainlink and buying Chainlink and holding it. I've, I, if you're in my Discord, you've seen this before, but if you just kind of take um, a, random points, uh, there's only been one time in the history of the this chart uh, oh sorry let me back up the orange line is chain link crypto and the green and red candles are uh, G, uh chain link trust grayscale chain link trust if you if you kind of chart chart the uh the the difference in the price throughout the lifetime of the grayscale link trust what you'll come up with is about a 2x to 3x premium that the the grayscale trust uh, of Chainlink trades at um, over time. So it's again, it's usually two x to three x. If you just literally take any, I mean, like right now, it's actually trading. I mean, almost almost five hundred percent higher. So it's really expensive to go buy the grayscale Chainlink trust rather than hopping on Coinbase or something and buying Chainlink. So, what if Chainlink is really underpriced, which I think it is, and what if you just kind of do the math based on the cumulative average in the near term? Like, you got to think if it continue, if history rhymes, and this is really the only period, a couple of, couple of periods of time back during the bear market when they were in parity, with each other, but overall, G Link price has always been a higher premium than Chainlink. So you gotta wonder, uh, in, in, but almost every time Chainlink tries to close the gap, um, especially in a bull market, it it it, it tries to you know like right here, um, from here to here. Whoa, what happened? From here to here, yeah. So I think there's a big move about to happen with Chainlink, and if you just do the calculator, if if it's always uh, accumulatively trading G Link, that is two to three times. Let's just say the current price of Chainlink, um, which is nineteen dollars and eighty one cents, nineteen eighty one times 2.5, two and a half, just call it middle. I mean, near term, we're looking at a $49 chain link. That is the link crypto purchased. Um, if we go on the conservative side of the premium and we just say times two, near term, we're looking at 39. So again, if you go back and look at this over time, I think that Chainlink is the biggest no-brainer in all of crypto. Uh, so much so that months and months ago on the Chainlink chart, I may have deleted it. Darn it, I think I did. Ha! I used to have a great text chart here that said, biggest no-brainer in, in all of crypto. So anyway, I think Chainlink is cheap in the near term and in terms of um, large caps. This thing's going to go to the moon. At least it's going to make me a whole lot of money, and I hope you're paying attention. I don't think you own enough Chainlink. 